This technical series is presented by Iggy Regato, Senior Sales Engineer for JPS Interoperability Solutions. The other talkout configuration is what we call simulcast, very similar to multicast, except my, re my transmit and receive sites at each of my uh, remote sites. The frequencies, the receive frequencies are the same, identical throughout this region, and my transmit frequencies are also identical. So the beauty of this is that my subscriber unit, I do not have to change my channels as I, as I roam throughout my region. I stay at my single channel. The problem occurs with regards to interference due to the relationship of different transmitters out in my region, particularly in the overlapping regions, which we sometimes call the non-capture region. And if we talk about uh, the capture ratio of an FM radio, well, if I am in overlap region, well, I'm within the capture ratio of two transmitters or three transmitters. And in essence, I will be receiving communications from these remote sites into my subscriber unit. I'll have destructive interference. I'll have some buzzing. The audio will be significantly degraded. So it's not an ideal situation, particularly in that non-capture region, the overlap region. So we can we can uh, support simulcast communications. Again, all the receive frequencies are the same at the satellite sites. The transmit frequencies are all the same, but we have to synchronize the audio. And we do that with third-party devices. Sometimes we call those uh, distribution amplifiers. And distribution amplifiers allows a technician or engineer to align the transmit audio such that the, the audio in the non-capture region is completely in phase and they do not cancel each other out. We don't get the uh, the inherent humming between the uh, the uh, the adjacent transmitter site. So uh, we don't do this. Uh, there are third parties that provide distribution amplifier solutions. Ed O'Connor, uh, as we all know, Simulcast Solutions uh, is a great person to talk to when dealing with Simulcast. So a lot of engineering involved requires lots of timing, GPS, rubidium, time sources, uh, the audio has to be uh, perfectly aligned.